now today i'll write a program on how to find the sum or average of array using functions in c++ Let's code. Stay with me. Okay, we'll take name here. But we have to use functions above. And if we are right main above, we have to give the prototypes of the function below. So I'll take it below. Basically, the other size. Maybe ten. Let's get let's enter the values by user predefined values. I think for writing the value we have to use the loop. We have to find the sum and the average. We have to create the variable. And for sum, we have to pass the array size and the sum. It, the sum will be by reference. Let me create the function here. Returning, we will use the data type of that and the array and size and and of sum because it's by reference, it will be changed under int here. is equal to sum plus array of r just declare sum with zero there is no garbage return sum we have sum here in short at the end of program find the average which one and it's being used here so we also get the value of this Hi, 
Hi guys, how are you? Today I will write a program on how to find the sum or average of array using functions in C++. Let's start the code. Find the average of sum of array using functions in C++. Let's write the code. Hash includes IO scheme after library using namespace standard. So I think perfectly fine. We'll write in its place below because we have to use functions above this. And if we write this above, we have to give the prototype. That is the difficulty. So let's write in main. Yeah, it should be in float. First of all, we have to initialize the array integer array and give the size let's give it 10 now we have to take the array from user enter the values we are using the find values we will enter it from user and else we have to use for loop here for altering the 10 values it will go from index to index so let's write for loop and i plus plus let's get the value by c in array of i okay array is filled using this loop now we have to write the function oh let's initialize the summation and average float average because average will be in floating value let's give this function the name of sum1 pass it the array its size sum and the average let's call it above this above here sum1 and sum1 yeah, it's working fine. Two one eight divided by ten. And some one integer array bracket and size and sum will return the value of average. Okay, thanks for watching. So we use the operator. This operator and it's a directional operator in J plus. It's used used for the reference for reference calling. Okay, let's write for loop again here. I less than size. I plus plus. Increment. Sum is equal to sum. Initially, the value of sum is zero. And the value of average is zero point four. Sum plus array of i. We'll get the sum here. The sum is sum. Average is equal to sum divided by ten. We'll use ten point zero for the floating value. Return average. We have the average of this array. Let's call it here. Okay, now let's call it. Let's give it a name average. Let's call it. It's working fine. So let's give it a values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The sum is 55 and 55 divided by 10 is 5.5. Because our size is 10 and 55 divided by 10 is 5.5. So it's working perfectly fine. Okay guys, stay with me. We'll meet again. Allah Hafiz.